In this video, we'll be dividing decimals by decimals. The method that I'm going to use to divide decimal numbers by decimal numbers is to multiply the decimal numbers first so that the divisor becomes a whole number. Having a whole number to work with will make the process easier. I'm going to work through four different examples. If you'd like to have a go at these examples yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. Here is a calculation. 0 0.72 divided by 0 0.3. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we are dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. If I multiply the divisor to make it a whole number, the process will be easier. I can do that by multiplying the divisor by 10. So 0 0.3 times 10 is 3. I also need to multiply the dividend by 10. So 0 0.72 times 10 is 7.2. I can now divide the decimal by a whole number, which will make my calculation easier. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 3 goes into 7 twice, with 1 left over. Then 3 goes into 12 four times. The dividend has one digit after the decimal place. So we need to make sure that the answer also has one digit after the decimal place. So the answer is 2.4. Let's have a look at another example. 0 0.675 divided by 0 0.5. First, we need to draw the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. I'm going to multiply the divisor by 10 to make it a whole number. 0 0.5 times 10 is 5. So I also need to multiply the dividend by 10. 0 0.675 times 10 is 6.75. So now that my divisor is a whole number, my calculation will be easier. So let's find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 5 goes into 6 once, with 1 left over. 5 goes into 17 three times, with 2 left over. And 5 goes into 25 five times. In this example, the dividend has two digits after the decimal place. So we need to make sure that the answer also has two digits after the decimal place. So the answer is 1.35. Here's another example. 2.496 divided by 0 0.4. First, we need to draw the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So I'm going to make the divisor into a whole number by multiplying the divisor by 10. 0 0.4 times 10 is 4. So I also need to multiply the dividend by 10. 2.496 times 10 is 24.96. Now that my divisor is a whole number, the calculation will be easier. So now we can find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 4 goes into 24 
six times. Four goes into nine twice with one left over. And four goes into sixteen four times. The dividend has two digits after the decimal point. So we need to make sure that the answer also has two digits after the decimal point. So the answer is 6.24. Let's have a look at one more example. 0 0.348 divided by 0 0.2. First, we need to draw the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So I'm going to make the divisor into a whole number by multiplying the divisor by 10. 0 0.2 times 10 is 2. So I also need to multiply the dividend by 10. 0 0.348 times 10 is 3.48. Now that my divisor is a whole number, the calculation will be easier. So now we can find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 2 goes into 3 once, with 1 left over. 2 goes into 14 7 times. 2 goes into 8 4 times. The dividend has two digits after the decimal point. So we need to make sure that the answer also has two digits after the decimal point. So the answer is 1.74. Now it's your turn. I've already done the bus stop method to calculate 0 0.856 divided by 0 0.4. Now all that's left to do is to put the decimal point in the correct place. Which of these answers is correct? Let me know your answer in the comment section.